Hello there, today I'd like to show you a plugin I've written uh, that adds a well, what I've called a dynamic jet to your scene which you can configure with a range of parameters to quickly well first of all mock up concepts for jet planes and uh, and, and uh, skip the side which is pretty laborious I've found of just adding in a cube then subdividing the cube, adding in mirror modifier, making sure your face is a uh, quad based. Um, it uh, does all that for you to start with. So um, it allows you to uh, get that shape very quickly and then you can um, tab into edit mode and start adding um, all the detail that you want. Uh, so I'm uh, going to show you um, how to configure that and uh, uh, just before uh, showing you how to install it first. So just to sh quickly show you how to install the plugin, you uh, go to user preferences, click install from file, and navigate to the Python file that you've downloaded uh, for the adjet. It should appear in the menu there. Click the checkbox. Uh, it should be permanently on, but click save a user settings just to be sure. So let's go down into the detail of how we actually configure this jet plane shape. So if you add the dynamic jet from the standard menu, and let's zoom out over the top of the plane, and let's go through some of the parameters that appear on the left hand toolbar. Uh, so the main body of the plane is divided by the nose, the middle, and the rear end of the plane, as well as the wings, of course, and I'll go into the top wing in a moment. Uh, so the first thing to show you is the nose can be configured by its width and its height, and most um, significantly its length as well, of course. Uh, we also have some controls for the cockpit, and now the midsection as well, you can adjust the shape there and the actual sides of the fuselage can be adjusted so you get um, different shapes on the body and then uh, you can change the rear as well uh, to, um, uh, to change that main shape and then we can move on to the wings you can change the wingspan uh, you can change the rotation of the tips of the wing uh, you can change the position of those tips and uh, starts to um, uh, change the shape um, uh, and get, get you uh, quickly brainstorming concepts together. Um, you can also do the same to the top uh, wing, the tail wing, um, which I'll show you in a moment as well. You, know, you can uh, change the number of tail wings or you can decide not to have any tail wings at all. Uh, and it follows the same pattern as the main wings where uh, you've got a base um, and a tip. You can also change the angle of the main wings as well. Uh, here you could get uh, two tail wings as well out. Uh, so that's looking uh, uh, like um, a shape that's uh, quite different from the one you started with when you added the default jet shape. You can reduce the engines to one. You could also um, reduce it to zero completely. You can also adjust the width and the height of the engine shape, um, but you might want to add more detail to that later, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Also worth noting is the subdivisions. So the um, add-on automatically adds a subdivision modifier to the plane, um, so uh, you will be able to um, see the underlying mesh that it's actually created is actually subdivided to give it all that smooth shape and I've also added some just some default um, location and rotation parameters so that you could automatically edit the transformation of the jet very quickly. Oh, also worth noting is say if um, you want to get back to the default parameters all you do is hit the delete key So just to show you the modifiers that are automatically added to the shape, um, you've got the mirror modifier and the subsurface modifier, which I showed you in the properties panel. 
if you hit tab you will lose all the parameters so um, so do it when you're sure but when you hit tab you can actually edit the base mesh here I'm just adding a very rudimentary engine just to show you as an example uh, sort of the front the front grills of the engine uh, so you can start adding in more detail quickly um, after you're happy with the initial concept uh, but I'll put that back to show you show you the overall shape and finally just as a little bonus uh, if you also use uh, uh, another add-on of mine the plating generator uh, if you apply subsurf modifier and then edit, enter edit mode uh, you can also quickly start adding um, plating patterns to the mesh uh, if we just scroll up and look at those parameters apply an edge split so that it looks clean and you can just about see there I might just change it to cycles render to very quickly show you um, the effect that you can quickly uh, get together and there we are so enjoy